could really be a case that Prince Harry is about to follow suit with his wife Meghan Markle. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to see you today. I hope you're all keeping well. Thank you, by the way, for your kind comments as ever about some of the recent videos. They certainly struck a nerve, didn't they? The NHS diversity managers. Glad you agree on that. One of the things over here as well that's a big thing uh, is the Just Stop Oil protesters who recently sprayed all orange paint over the luxury department store Harrods. And um, of course, once again, that was left to the people on the lower paid wages to clean up after their mess. The public, though, had enough. They're now removing people from the roads themselves, literally chucking them into the side of the pavement. You know, I think people are literally that fed up. But as one Minister of Parliament told me, how strange would it be if that person was to then spray paint the people sat in the roads, orange themselves? Who would be arrested? Interesting, isn't it? Criminal damage at its worst yet seemingly the law's on the side of those doing the criminal damage. As ever, love to know what you think to that particular bon mot in the comments below. Back as ever also to your breaking royal story of the day. You know, we saw earlier this week, didn't we, with Meghan Markle and that now infamous, they all are, variety interview where she said, you know, she was through with the entertainment industry, all while sitting down with the biggest entertainment bible of them all, variety, to say that she was through with it. Yeah, contradictions, you get it? But I think the biggest bombshell on that really was the fact that she was now sidelining her Netflix documentary, or the, you know, the one finally that they've got, uh, which was worth millions to Netflix. And they're now seeing, of course, that they're not really going to get their money's worth. I mean, they've had masses of PR, but it's now turning into negative PR on a huge scale with thousands of subscribers uh, departing on a daily basis. It's a cost of living crisis problem as well. You know, people do cut back on things that they simply don't need. But if you're not putting things out there that people like, then you're simply not going to watch. This is the problem. We don't need to watch Harry and Meghan's docuseries. It will be printed all over the digital media for free, you know. <laughs> Why bother? That would be my advice. But it's interesting to note that it looks like, as ever, we have to say allegedly, uh, Prince Harry is going to follow suit with his own book. This is what celebrities do. I've worked with them many years, you know, I know exactly how this works. They basically then sidestep against any negative PR, blaming the person that's actually done all the work. In this case, it looks set to be the ghostwriter of Prince Harry's memoir. Now, it's all been signed off, allegedly it's all finished. There is a paperback version set to loom at some point in the late spring of 2023. But according to a very good source, the negative reaction, which will be seen as very negative, whichever way you look at it, could end up being the work now, the negativity thrown at the ghostwriter. That's right. You get the picture? This is how it works because suddenly their story's been misinterpreted not the story that they set out to do. Even though, you know, I have it on very good assurances that Prince Harry signed off every single dot and I and page. So how we could not know what's coming up will be interesting to see. Also, you know, they've still got to do the publicity, so that's going to be very eerie because people will be picking out chunks of the books. But as ever, it's becoming a diminishing roster of people that Harry and Meghan wish to sit down with and also journalists who wish to sit down with them because they know they could simply be either axed from their job or indeed berated online for not doing the, or should they say towing, the party line, what they want to hear. You get the picture again. So moving forward, whatever you're thinking about this book with Prince Harry, yes, there'll be a blame game, but yes, for him, it won't be him. It will, of course, be the people around him that have misrepresented him. It's always the media's fault in the end. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.